Hello, we are the power subsystem for the Rowan University CubeSat Clinic. We were responsible for designing and implementing a power system solution that will power the CubeSat and all of its subsystems. Without the power subsystem, the CubeSat is essentially a floating box in space. The power subsystem is vital in the CubeSat project. In our approach, we initially decided to design and implement our own solution. However, due to time constraints, we were forced to use a commercial product replacement. This replacement was known as the GOMSPACE P31U EPS, or Electrical Power System. By reorganizing our efforts behind the configuration and integration of the GOMSPACE Power System solution, we were able to successfully provide a power solution to all the subsystems. We were able to provide sufficient voltage and current levels to all the subsystems including the COMS subsystem, who initially required a higher voltage than we could provide. Additionally, we were able to communicate with the microcontroller embedded within the GOMSPACE unit to configure all of its parameters and monitor system health. The microcontroller had a stock software shell known as GOSH that made connecting to the EPS, configuring it, and collecting data from it a simple task. Although it took time to properly connect with the shell, once done, it proved to be easy to interact with. After the initial configuration was completed, we focused on phase one testing. By successfully integrating the power subsystem onto FlatSat, which was our phase one goal, we were able to continue our testing procedures. We ran tests according to our drafted testing procedures and confirmed the operations of all of our pre-flight instrumentation. Additionally, we were able to test the operation of the EPS post-flight, including tests of the voltage rails, kill switch testing, and battery drain testing. In the course of designing and configuring our subsystem, we also realized some constraints. Time was the biggest constraint and was a major driving factor in our shift in focus. As mentioned above, we initially began by designing our own solution for the power subsystem. However, due to deadlines with our launch provider, NanoRacks, we were forced to continue the project with the GOMSPACE unit. Furthermore, we were also constrained by the requirements of the other subsystems. We had to design with the other subsystems in mind, along with the requirements of the CubeSat project. Due to the fact that our satellite will be deployed in an environment as restrictive as space, there were many crucial standards and restrictions set by NanoRacks in which we had to follow. The first restriction was the amount of chemical storage our system was allowed to store pre-deployment. According to Nanorax, there shall be no more than 100 watt hours of chemical storage. Secondly, a remove before flight pin is required. The remove before flight pin is used during integration outside the deployment system to ensure no system is active prior to launch. Upon the removal of the pin and preliminary coded instructions, the system will be reactivated. Lastly, we needed to ensure the battery would be able to harvest enough energy to sustain its output power to each subsystem. This was done using the solar cells alongside of the photovoltaic power converter. These standards ensure that the CubeSat would be able to accomplish its mission in a safe and efficient manner. One of the impacts the CubeSat project will have is that it will provide electrical and computer engineering students with design, implementation, and testing experience of subsystems on a CubeSat that will be launched into space. The power subsystem is crucial to the success of the overall mission goals of the CubeSat project. The power subsystem directly supports the payload subsystem, which is responsible for the resilience test of the memristor-based memory in space-radiated environments. The development of microsatellites, such as CubeSat, are currently in a rapidly developing field, the CubeSat project is an excellent introduction to this arena, which allows students to gain experience working collaboratively with a variety of different subsystems. As engineering students, we aspire to innovate the future. Our efforts have taught us what it takes to design a system that will go into space, as well as the stringent requirements that need to be met along the way. With more students obtaining design experience in space systems, they will be better prepared to enter the workforce. The CubeSat project brings Rowan ECE students to the final frontier. The members of this clinic would like to thank Dr. Sangho Shin and Dr. John Schmazel for the opportunity to be involved with this clinic. We would also like to thank our grad student advisor, Mr. Russell Trafford, for his assistance and guidance during the course of this work. Additionally, we would like to acknowledge NASA and the New Jersey Space Grant Consortium, whose funding made this work possible.